Who is the girl with a pearl earring? This young woman in a dark shallow space, an intimate setting, that draws the viewer's attention exclusively on her. So let's take a look at the painter with some of his work and see why this small painting commands so much attention. See you on the other side. The Sunday Painter Please click and subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget the little bell so you will be the first when we have an inspirational idea. This is what I know about this small beautiful little pale Dutch girl. Girl with a pearl earring in Dutch, Meisha Menta Perel, is an oil painting by Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer, dated circa 1665. She has gone by various names over the centuries, but it became known by its present name after the large pearl earring worn by the girl portrayed as the girl with the pearl earring, go figure. The work has been in the collection of the Mauritz House in The Hague since 1902. In 2006, the Dutch public selected it as the most beautiful painting in the Netherlands. Which I agree. She does have a simple, memorizing gaze, just look into her eyes as she stares back at you. A bit hypnotizing don't you think? Jan Vermeer van Delft, was a Dutch painter who specialized in domestic interior scenes of middle-class life. During his lifetime, he was a moderately successful genre painter, recognized in Delft and The Hague. He produced relatively few paintings and evidently was not wealthy, leaving his wife and children in debt at his death. Vermeer worked very slowly, and frequently used very expensive pigments. He is particularly renowned for his masterly treatment and use of light in his work. Almost all his paintings, as Hans Koningsberger wrote, are apparently set in two smallish rooms in his house in Delft, they show the same furniture and decorations in various arrangements and they often portray the same people, mostly women. Vermeer may have first executed his paintings tonally like most painters of his time, using either monochrome shades of grey, grisaille, or a limited palette of browns and greys, dead colouring, over which he would apply more saturated colours, reds, yellows and blues, in the form of transparent glazes. No drawings have been positively attributed to Vermeer, and his paintings offer few clues to preparatory methods. There is no other 17th-century artist who employed the exorbitantly expensive pigment lapis lazuli, natural ultramarine, either so lavishly or so early in his career. In this way, he created a world more perfect than any he had witnessed. This working method most probably was inspired by Vermeer's understanding of Leonardo's observations that the surface of every object partakes of the of the adjacent object. This means that no object is ever seen entirely in its natural color. If you look at this apple selection, you will see the reflection of the blue background on all the apples. Vermeer's painting techniques have long been a source of debate, given their almost photorealistic attention to detail, despite Vermeer's having had no formal training, and despite only limited evidence that Vermeer had created any preparatory sketches or traces for his paintings. Vermeer may have used optics to achieve precise positioning in their compositions, and specifically some combination of curved mirrors, camera obscura, and camera lucida. Vermeer produced a total of fewer than 50 paintings, of which 34 have survived. Only three Vermeer paintings were dated by the artist. The painting is a trony, the Dutch 17th century description of a head that was not meant to be a portrait. A trony is a painting that exaggerates something such as the turban and earring. Vermeer depicts a European girl wearing an exotic dress, an oriental turban, and an improbably large pearl earring. Scholars raised doubts about the material of the earring and argued that it looks more like polished tin than pearl on the grounds of the specular reflection the pear shape and the large size of the earring. During the restoration, it was discovered that the dark background, today somewhat mottled, was originally a deep enamel-like green. This effect was produced by applying a thin transparent layer of paint, a glaze, over the black background seen now. However, the two organic pigments of the green glaze, indigo and weld, have faded. Presences of delicate eyelashes, a green curtain behind the head, changes made, the lack of eyebrows and featureless background had led to speculation that Vermeer was painting an idealized or abstract face, the later discoveries showed that he was painting a real person in a real space. The pearl has been described as an illusion due to having no contour and also no hook to hang it from the girl's ear. Vermeer painted the small piece, 17 by 15 inches, 44 by 39 centimeters. After the bequest to the Mauritz house, the painting became known as Girl with a Turban, Misha Met Tulband, 
and it was noted of its original description in the 1675 inventory that the turban had become a fashion accessory of some fascination during the period. In 1995, the title Girl with a Pearl, Mesha Met de Perel, was considered more appropriate. Pearls, in fact, figure in 21 of Vermeer's pictures. Generally the English title of the painting was simply Head of a Young Girl, although it was sometimes known as the Pearl. One critic explained that this name was given, not just from the detail of the earring, but because the figure glows with an inner radiance against the dark background. Journalists Jean-Louis Vaudoyer and Lawrence Weschler have proposed that the lovely girl who sat for Vermeer was in fact the eldest of his ten children, Maria. She might also be the model in art of painting and young woman with a pearl necklace. An American novelist Tracy Chevalier, whose 1999 historical novel spun a love story between Vermeer and a servant girl turned muse. In 2004, Chevalier's book was adapted into an acclaimed feature film, starring Scarlett Johansson. It's a love story between the model and Vermeer, which is kinda creepy thinking this may have been his daughter. It was a good movie, and who doesn't like Scarlett Johansson? A similar teardrop pearl can be spotted the painting of a woman brought a letter by a maid. Vermeer often reused props, models, and settings in his works. Although Vermeer painted the girl around 1665, her first 200 years remained something of a mystery. In 1881, the painting was sold at the notary's auction house in The Hague. During the viewing, it caught the attention of two art experts, who were also friends and neighbors, Victor de Stewers and Arnoldus Andres de Tombe. The painting was so dirty and in such poor condition that it was hard to see what it actually was. Despite the poor condition of the painting, de Stewers immediately recognized it as a Vermeer, but kindly agreed not to bid against his buddy de Tombe at the auction. That meant that de Tombe could buy it for the bargain basement price of two guilders, plus a 30 cent commission. In today's money, that's about 30 euros. How much did the Mauritz house pay for the girl with a pearl earring when she entered the collection? Nothing. How much is she worth now? She's priceless. She will never leave home again. In recent years, the Mauritz house loaned girl with a pearl earring to Japan, Italy and the United States for exhibitions. But once this tour concluded in July of 2014, the museum announced the painting would stay in their collection within their walls indefinitely. So there you have it. If you want to see her in person, you may have to travel to get that chance. Which doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. If you like the video and would like more interesting short art documentaries, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.